a complete problem covering all aspects of retirement. A, B and C, share profits and losses in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. Balance sheet of the firm is given to, given to us. What is given? Capital, bank loan, creditors, fixed asset, debtors, inventories. There is a joint life policy and bank. On 1st January of year 2, A wants to retire. B and C agree to continue in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, there is a change in the profit sharing ratio. Right now, 5 is to 3 is to 2 is the ratio and B and C will continue in the ratio 2 is to 1. The joint life policy was taken 5 years back for 1 lakh and the surrender value as on 31st December was of year 1 was 25,000. So, when we surrender the policy, why do we surrender the policy? Because A is retiring, we will get an amount of 25,000. For the purpose of A's retirement, 25,000 uh, retirement, goodwill was raised for rupees 1 lakh. Sundry fixed assets revalued for 90,000, but B and C did not prefer to show such increase in assets in the balance sheet. A's claim is transferred to a loan account. So, let us see what is the entry for joint life policy account. Joint life policy, we already have a balance of 20,000. Now, money is received, bank account debit to joint life policy, we will get 25,000. So, there would be a balance of 5,000 which would be transferred to the partner's capital accounts in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. So, let us quickly pass that entry first. First entry I am passing with joint life policy. So, what is the entry for the joint life policy account? On receipt of the money, we will say bank account debit to JLP joint life policy account, we get 25,000. And what do we do? There is already joint life policy account in the balance sheet for 20,000. Now we have credited 25,000. So joint life policy account debit, the extra 5,000 will be transferred to A, to B and to C in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. So how much would that be? 2,500. 1,500, 1, and 1,000. <clears> this is the accounting treatment with respect to joint life policy. As a result, mind you, joint life policy account is closed. Next, so this, this is taken care of. Next, goodwill was raised for rupees 1 lakh. Now, goodwill is raised for rupees 1 lakh. Let us see what is the old profit sharing ratio. What is the new profit sharing ratio? What was the old ratio if we take, we need to find out gaining ratio. What is gaining ratio? New ratio minus old ratio. What is the new ratio between B and C? New ratio is 2 is to 1. So, shall I say it's 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. What was the old ratio? Old ratio was 3 by 10 and 2 by 10. So, what is the gain I get now? 2 by 3 minus 3 by 10. We take 30. 20 minus 9, 20 minus 9 and here we have 10 minus 6. So, what is the gain? 20 minus 9 is 11 by 30 and 4 by 30 or 11 is to 4 is the gaining ratio. 11 is to 4 is the gaining ratio. Goodwill is 1 lakh. A's share in goodwill is 50%. Goodwill share of A is how much? 5 by 10 of 1 lakh. That is equal to 50,000. So, what is the entry for goodwill? A will sacrifice. A is leaving. 
A's capital account will be credited by his share of goodwill 50,000 and B and C would be debited in their gaining ratio of 11 is to 4. So, 2. So, this was for JLP. Now, we will pass the entry for goodwill. What is the entry for goodwill? B's capital account debit. C's capital account debit to A's capital. A's capital is going to be 50,000 and this is going to be in the ratio of 11 is to 4. 11 is to 4. Eleven by fifteen into fifty thousand and four by fifteen into fifty thousand. Thirty six thousand six sixty seven and C's capital account would be. 13,233. <coughs> no, 333, I'm sorry. <coughs> so, this would be the entry for good. <coughs> so, for the purpose, goodwill is taken care of. Next. Sundry fixed assets were to be revalued at 90,000. So, what is the value now? It is 60,000. So, we need to take 30,000 more. But B and C did not want to show the increase in the assets. Therefore, what do we do now? The increase is 30,000 into A's share is 5 by 10 or half. That is equal to 15,000. So, 15,000 is going to be credited to A's account. 15,000 is going to be credited to A's account. <clears throat> Revaluation of assets. That's the next thing. A's account credited. Therefore, B's capital account and C's capital account would be debited to A's capital 15,000. What is the ratio? Gaining ratio. Therefore, 11 by 15 of 15,000 and 4 by 15 of 15,000. That would be 11,000 and 4,000. A's claim is transferred to loan account. Is there anything else we need to take care of? Nothing more. So, what is the amount which are due to A? A will get his capital amount of 50,000. His amount of 50,000 and the entries that we have considered. So, let us see quickly. <clears throat> Working. Capital was 50,000. Then we have A again 2,500. For goodwill, we are giving him 50,000. This is taken care. Revaluation of assets, 15,000. Therefore, totally the balance which is due to him is 1,17,000. This is the amount of capital, the amount of JLP, the amount of goodwill and the amount of revaluation profit. Totally 1,17,500. So, it should be A's capital account debit to, to bank if we have the money, but we are transferring it to the loan account. Therefore, entry to close the account is A's capital account is debited and what is credited is loan account. A loan account is created for the amount of 1,17,500. 1, 1,17,500. So, we've made an entry, adjustments for the joint life policy, 
adjustment for goodwill, adjustment for revaluation of assets. Assets, mind you, have not been revalued. The value continues. They are shown in the balance sheet at the same value. So the increase, A's share of that increase is credited to his account and corresponding debit to the gaining partners in their gaining ratio. <clears throat> As a result of all this, the final balance in A's account would be 1,17,500. This has been transferred to his loan account. So we have done joint life policy, goodwill, revaluation of asset and final settlement.